The Phoenix Suns with a six-point lead, 17 and a half seconds to go in game three. Big bucket here from Kevin Durant moments ago. And after a slow start, one for his first eight. Never losing confidence. Not that guy. Nah. 38 points, nine rebounds, eight assists for Durant. 45 points, six rebounds, nine assists for Booker. Historic performances tonight from the two Sun stars. Payne has to get it in, floats it into the backcourt for Booker. Brown will foul him, and Booker can add to his ledger. Foul to give. So a side out of bounds here for Phoenix with 16 seconds remaining in this game. Got to get the ball in bounds. Phoenix Sun still with one timeout remaining. Durant pushed off Murray. Able to grab up to Booker and a foul called. And who's going to go to the line, Booker or Durant? And I believe it's Kevin Durant, which is significant because it will give Durant a chance to join Devin Booker with a 40-point night. He misses the first. Durant has taken all 15 Suns free throws in this game. 13 of 15. It's down on a chance at 40 there. Denver with one timeout remaining, and they will spend it here. Trailing by seven with 13.3 to go. Chris Paul out for this game three. His availability and question moving forward. Ryan Rucco, J.J. Reddick, Richard Jefferson welcoming you courtside. Guys, we talked about it before the game. Phoenix likely needing historic output from Booker and Durant. What has impressed you most about the way they have gotten it tonight? Well, they both were super aggressive from the start of the game, recognizing the situation, being down 2-0, coming back home. And I told our wonderful producer, Paul Irwin, this morning, I said, Paul, for Phoenix to have a chance here, they need Booker and Durant to go for about 80, and they've surpassed that. Well, and it's not just the 80. It's Terrence Ross with five points. Landell has had outstanding minutes. He actually is finishing this game instead of eight. And then, I'm telling you, T.J. Warren, the big shots when they were needed to mix in the offensive and defensive guys to give that space. It has been so impressive watching Monty try and adjust. Now, depending on how this game finishes, it's going to be up to the different Nuggets to adjust. Now, think about this. T.J. Warren hadn't played in this series. Played a total of six minutes against the Clippers. Terrence Ross played a total of nine and a half minutes in these playoffs. Had not scored. And yet, Monty Williams goes to them, and it makes a huge difference. When was the last time somebody had 45 with zero free throws? Devin Booker just came over here and said that to me. Said zero, he, right? Yeah, he he zero, said zero free throws. 13.3 to go. Jokic the catch, the dish. What a rejection from Durant as Jokic tips it in. 28 points, 15 rebounds, 17 assists for Jokic. And Booker is fouled. He'll have a chance to add now to his 45 points. And you see him celebrating with Rich 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 Rich. his first free throws of the night. First right. member of the Suns other than Durant to take any free throws. And, and look, I understand why he's smiling. And look, he shot 25 times in the paint all night long. And these are his first free throws. He's 20 of 25. <laughs> It's the first. 46 tonight for Devin Booker. See the way the free throw breakdown has happened for Phoenix. It is all cosmetic at this point. Gordon inbounds. Booker matches his playoff career high with 47. And an unforgettable night for the Phoenix Suns duo of Booker.
Walker and Durant. The Suns on the board.